this will be Dungeons and Dragons. That was out of order. My word, because I just... Oops, oh god, oh jeez. Okay. There we go. <laughs> We've been having a little bit of technical difficulties tonight with my microphone, but it sounds like everything's cleared itself up on the tech end, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the... What in God's name is... What is going on in my Discord chat right now? Lord, have mercy. Okay, let me go ahead and drop the uh, live notification in my server, and we can go ahead and grab them and get started. Everyone... All right. Oh, I don't know what's happening there, but let's grab them. All right, guys. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I don't. I'm actually a little busy right now. So. So, last we left off, you guys, as a party, had... Uh, after completing your mission in Saints Haven, been released upon the world, and uh, in an effort to track down various pieces and parts that you need to construct a weapon that can help you take down the Emperor, apparently, um, you made your way to the Viridian Sea, which is one of the largest forests in the world. It is the Rift Valley that is the holy home of the Lady of the Lily. Uh, you made your way in, and uh, a, a couple days into your journey into the sea, so where you're going to find a flower that you need to give to a dragon, so that she'll give you some frozen lightning, uh, you encountered a strange vegetal humanoid, which you quickly dispatched when it haphazardly attacked you, and then found yourselves on the receiving end of some unfriendly attention from what appear to be giant clusters of vines, and that is exactly where we left off. That's correct! Uh, do you guys remember the battlefield? Or do you want me to send it to you again? All right, give me just a second. You're split up, that's right. Yep. What happened? Ah. <laughs> Excellent. Good work. All right. I gotta roll. I gotta roll some initiatives. I got one for Femora. Femora rolls that, and then Desire rolls a. Desire doesn't roll too hot, which is unfortunate. Um, oh, and then the enemies themselves. One. Ooh. And. Ooh. Okay, that's hilarious, actually. Okay, where's my pencil? Here we are. 25 to 20. Uh, it was. We've got 20. Okay, hold on, I gotta open up my freaking. Monster. Ugh. Okay. Uh, natural 20 or? Okay. Who wants to go first? Usually I call them a modified 20, but that's longer to say. Who wants to go first? Yeah. Uh, you can go first. Mm -hmm. 
Yo. There is um audio issues. One is some hmm. Uh that's not great. That's weird. Can't hear anyone audibly but me. Um, okay. I. OBS, what the fuck? How about yeah. now? Why was I added? <gasps> Echo! Echo, yes! Hey, Todd. Is, are they just too hey, quiet, Todd. stream? Hey, Todd, what the fuck? Todd who? Todd I Howard! Can turn everybody Todd else up. Bod Coward. What'd he do? Todd the Rod Howard. Bastard. Oh no! They go echo. A. Heck yeah! Chat, uh, how is it now? <laughs> they were too quiet. Okay, cool. Um. Can you heal us? Alright, looks like we're fine. Okay. This, this I just need to turn you guys up. So, <laughs> this goes in the dice jar. You turned us up just so we can see. Alright, so that was 25 to 20. Um, which one of you is going first? Me. Book can go first. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, and then Tiska. I don't remember what Tiska group has decided to over my screen and won't close. Oh no. Rip. I don't want you to install updates right now. There it goes. And then, thank you, Lurker. I'm gonna give you a little star on your thingy. Give me a second. Oh boy! I Which page is yours? Power. There we are. It's the one with your That's name on it. That's terrifying every time you do it. What, Thank you so much for the support. Yes! <laughs> it's terrifying. This reminds me of the, uh, your fave is Disney's first gay character, uh... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> See, I remember... I get reminded of the, um... There's a stream... There's a thing that, uh, one of the gamers I follow did, and... He's doing Prison Architect! And at some point, like, the superintendent's thing he said looked kind of like Walt Disney, so he started doing the Mickey voice, and then he started doing other Disney character voices, but it just got darker and darker. Oh, ho! Goofy! You have to let us go! The accident wasn't your fault! Oh, ho. Jesus Christ. We're gonna get- we're gonna <laughs> get a cease and desist from Disney. Point. They're gonna find us. They're gonna find our stream, and they're gonna take down my stream. For I'm copyright. going to come to your house. Be afraid. They're gonna show up at my door. The mouse is gonna come to your house. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, 15 to 20, folks? Yes. 15 to 20. Yay. Uh, 16. Okay. 17 for JD. Oh, okay. Uh, now I have to erase shit. Where's my eraser? Good. No problem, JD. I have my little initiative tracker all set up and everything. 18, you said? Or 17? 17. Okay, okay. Echo. Not that, that it matters. Won't stop. But... That won't stop them. You're right. That won't stop them for shit. Mice right. can't get corona? <laughs> it's fine. 16. They're not the carriers there. this time. <laughs> uh. So I'm that was 15 to 10, nobody else? Um, or, no, yeah, now 15 to 10. 14. 14. Oh, did you Careful. catch... Yeah, you caught Skylark 16, right? Yes. Yeah. Be careful, Snant. Snant. What if? Snant. Snant. 14, Mesa. Uh... T 5 to 10? <laughs> Zero to five. <laughs> One. Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Be safe. Fuck. It's okay. <laughs> I'll be fine. 
All right. Also, it will not let anything harm you if she can help it. Your bones. No, she's no. more than that now. She's over six. She's over. You've got some muscle in there. Help. She's That's terrifying. I know. She's gloopy now. Oh, All of your squishy bits. Gloopy. I hate it, but I love it. Yeah, you've can got you ooze now. <laughs> we have to all ooze. So on the bright side, at least bone hurting juice will only hurt part of you. Alright, folks. Snod. So at the top of initiative, <laughs> the first one up is your enemy. Oh dang. Oh, Sorry about that. Can you not? The dice will do what the dice will do. Can you don't? <laughs> so, let's see here. Alright, so there are two on the battlefield. One behind Hessa and Mir. Uh, no. Yes, Hessa and Mir up are in the upper right corner of the battlefield. Near that weird little cluster of circles and lines. That's, I know that describes the entire map. But I mean between the four um, trees on the upper left-hand corner. Do you see? I see what you're talking about. Yes. You two are up there. The other uh, the other clump of the party members is down by that big loop of giant vine in the bottom right. Thank you for pinning that. That'll be a great help. Uh, so the one up by you, Hesse and Mir, is going to take some attacks. Bonjour. First off, it's going to make two claw attacks against Hessa. Or, claw, it says claw, but it's it's like these big old, uh, these massive sort of slamming, slicing appendages. They're made of wood and vine, but they don't look like humanoid arms or hands. They're just, like, big arms. I hate. That's so, it. it's going to make some attacks on you. Oh, God. Oh, my God, there's him. That is a 17 and a 19. Do either of those hit? Yes. Both of them. All right. Let me roll some damage. Rip. That's his AC is 17, so. Gotcha. Yeah. Thanks. That is 18 damage. Oh, thanks. Ouch. 18, 18 bludgeoning Fine. damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> He's just made of bones. What happens oh. if you hit bones real hard? Can Someone's vulnerable to bludgeoning now? damage right now, aren't they? Yes. Oh, no. That's going to be rough. Wow, it's almost like I don't like, like how delighted he sounds. <laughs> You evil, evil scary. human being. So it, it hits you with these massive, massive, like, slamming arms. And then you see around it part of its body sort of unravel and unspool into these long tendrils, these long whip-like tendrils. It's going to oh, go ahead and make some more attacks. Two more on you. That is not great. Wait, are, are you attacking me again? Uh-huh. But it only gets a 12 this time, and then it rolls no. a natural one, so it's not going to hit you with those. But it will also make two attacks against Mir. No. Not which are a 16 and a 21. Those hit? Mir? Uh, Sorry. Uh... Um, I think the, the 21 definitely hits, the 16 does not. Okay. That is... Ooh, okay. This one's fun. Um, that is... 8 slashing damage. Plus... Okay. Plus 2 poison. Ow! Ooh, ouch, Sorry, my six, bones. Six slashing damage or seven? Um, eight slashing. Okay. Ouch. Eight slashing and two poison. Okie dokie. We could have just ran away. We didn't have to fight it. 
it up. Well, we tried going around and it kept moving into our way and eventually it attacked us. Yeah, it assaulted us. Mm -hmm. Misa, to be specific. And so, Misa got upset. There's that one. <laughs> Something happens that you're not aware of. Great. Oh. And now it is the other oh, one's turn. Bad. It dropped directly behind oh. you. So, we're just gonna roll and see who it attacks. Fuck. One, two, three. Okay, with its big arms, it goes for Brawl. Rip. Oh, I just realized I should be rolling these with advantage. This is a surprise round. Oof. Oh, oh Jesus. That first attack is a natural now 20. I really don't like them, just for the record. Second attack, Brom, is a 23. So I'm assuming both of those hit. I didn't hear what the first roll was. A natural 20. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, them, those definitely both hit. Yep. All right. Where are you on the map again? Hessa and Mir are in the top left corner. Everybody else is in the bottom right by that big vine loop. Ooh. Uh, let's see here. What are we rolling for that again? D6s. Okay. okay. This is rough already. 8, 12, plus... 10, that's 22. Temple, remember that. Damage to you, Braum. Temp to bludgeoning, that is. And then one attack towards Sakurao. That will hit. Rip. It's a 24. One attack towards Misa. Oh, bastard. That's only an 11, so it's not going to do it. That, that's, nope. One attack towards Tiska. Try again. Hey, How did, uh, 17? No, that, that doesn't hit my 13 AC. Okay. And then, who else is over there? Oh, Probably 13. Tem. Tem. Let's go for you, buddy. Armor class. That's gonna be a 22. That hits, unfortunately. Okay. So, Tiska, you take... Nine slashing and four poison. Nine slashing and four poison? Yeah. Okay. I don't like that. Temp, you think... take only six slashing and three poison. No. Uh, the don't! I take six slashing because I'm immune to poison. Alright, fair enough. Doc, are the oh, NPCs with us? Yes. Poison. Okay. Or um, and then after being brutally Misa, you take down. six slashing, and doesn't matter. Right. You're a paladin. Wait, it would be damage even if it doesn't hit. Oh no, you you did. No, you did escape. Okay, you're right. Who else got hit? Zachra, oh, you're right. No. Zachra, sorry. Zachra, what that's six slashing and four poison. Okay, so according to according to the druid ability need to ward, I'm immune to poison and disease. Would that mean I'm immune immune to poison damage or just the poison condition? Uh, no. It would. I would think that would also be poison damage. Okay. You are cutting out a little bit, but I did get the gist of what she said. Yeah. Okay, uh, if you're sorry. immune to poison damage, this the poison damage isn't going to matter. Okay. So I just took the nine slashing. Yes. Yeah, so you. Misa and Temp are all free of poison damage this fight. Because <laughs> we're awesome. Yeah. And because Misa is, um... A bone snake. You're, you've, you've that multiple times over. Falcon. Yo. What was, what did it roll to hit? Uh, a 22. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay, so that is the... Enemies. That is the enemies up in this surprise round. Um. Something happens that you're not aware of. Great. Oh, great. I do not like that. <laughs> and then because it's a surprise round. 
That passes all your initiatives. Oh boy. Excuse me? Surprise round. Oh, Bastard. Fun. So we're gonna go ahead and do some more attacks. Um, wow. Yep. While, I'm, while I'm thinking about it, what were uh, Femora and Desire's um, roles? Like, where uh, do they place? That way I can tell JD where they are. JD wanted to know. Oh, okay, I yeah. Have everyone else Femora is, right is uh, right after Hessa and Tiska. And Desire is between you and Brom. Okay. Thank you. Two more attacks on... There you go, JD. Hesse. Have it, everybody. Two more big attacks on you, Hessa, but one of those is a natural one. The other one is a 22. Woo! That'll hit, I'm assuming. 22 to hit. It hits by a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little itty bitty bit. Uh, I don't like fighting giant plant monsters. That <laughs> is great. 16 slashing, or 16 bludgeoning. My bad. Uh, okay. And then <laughs> tendrils at you. That's gonna be a oh boy, a 25 and a 26. No, a 25 Whoa. and a 20. I'm trying to do math here. Hold on. Well, it's What's... okay. You're gay. We know you can't do math. I know. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Fifth. No, 26 and... <laughs> 23. There we go. Attacking who? Um, Hessa. Oh, hi. Okay. I thought, I thought you said temper. I got very concerned. No, he comes next. Oh. <laughs> Great. I uh, shouldn't have said anything. So we just... Oh. Two... Whatever the hell that number Wait. is, I can't see it. Read it. Oh, there we are. It's a three, so... Um... Five, fifteen... Is this because I said last week you hadn't downed Tessa yet? Fifteen... <laughs> That's 15 slashing, plus no answer. 9 poison. Yeah, no. <laughs> but you're immune to poison, plus, so it doesn't matter. Plus, okay, cool. You're, you want to eat. Okay. Um, so that's... only take the 15 slashing. Oh, well, that's good. Hess is still up, which is nice. Mir, two attacks on you. E. That is a, a 10, which I don't think is going to do it. No. And a 21, which I think will. Yeah, yeah, that hits. That one is only six slashing and uh, six poison. Oof. The other one is going to go all in on the party again. Fuck this it. time it will target Sakrao with its main attack. That's very rude. Sure is. Rolling now. Jesus, what is with these guys in natural ones? That's not gonna do it. But that one's a 22, so it will. I cast shield. Okay, what's your AC? Now it's 18. Well, they that's rolled great. a 22. <laughs> yeah, but I still do it. You're valid, I like that. Good roleplay. That's what the character would do. No, I love that. Um, it will hit you for... That's fine. For <laughs> six bludgeoning. That's not great. Just punches you. And then... That was rude. So that everyone else can hear you? Oh, yeah. At temp, that's gonna be a 28. Oh, yikes. I'm sorry? A 28? Uh, it, y yeah? That's gonna be a Brom. That one is a miserable little 15, no, 13. Uh, at... Tiska, this is gonna be cocked apparently. Uh, that is a twenty-seven. No, twenty-six. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. Uh, and then at Misa, it will be another twenty-eight. Jesus Christ! What are you act rolls? All right. I'm full of so much hate right now, Falcon. Temp. This first 
Let's meet you. Tiska. Whoever the fuck else I attacked. Mesa. Uh, okay, wow, they're rolling really bad on damage. Yeah, they're kind of, um... I believe the technical term is kicking our shit in. So... Yeah. They're not doing bad on damage. They're doing great. It's not great. I have 60 health. Oh. I don't like how much damage they're doing, if I'm perfectly honest. You're talking to the person with 8 HP right now. It, it makes me mm. have the not good feelings. Ow, that sounds like it hurts. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad the 9 didn't do anything, because uh, she'd be down. Mm, that, mm, that's rough, buddy. Uh, <laughs> There's temp. no remorse in your voice. That oh, yeah. is 7 slashing plus 4 poison, which doesn't matter for you. So 7 slashing. 7 slashing. Um, Tiska, that is seven slashing plus four poison. Seven slashing. No, six slashing, sorry. Six slashing, okay. And then Misa, that is six slashing plus six poison. Doesn't matter. I was about to say, I swear to God, if you- All three of you are immune to poison, god damn. Fuck, I need to- I need to make a note of how high her health is right now so I can go back to it. Okay. Uh... That is their turn. Um... It doesn't take the most perceptive of you to notice some rustling in the trees. Fuck! Really, after, you know, a bunch of vines just tried to... murderate us. Uh, I can make it so it takes the most perceptive, per uh, perceptive of you. Please don't. How, Please don't. uh, how far apart are the two groups? Um, let's see, let me count on my little map that I made here. Yeah, Misa just, er, Heza just, like, starts dying for no reason, because nobody, uh, passed their perception rolls. No, thank you. Please. Please don't do that. About a hundred feet, at most. Jesus. Eighty at minimum. And with that, it is over to the first of your turns. That is Hessa. Oh, hi there. Hello. What do you do? Oh, boy. Okay, so how many vine vines are around? There's a big cluster behind you and a big cluster behind the main party. Okay. Um, How's everybody's candy on? bars, by the way? Not great. Not great. <laughs> Doing okay for now. Is Flicker already on? Uh, it is. Uh, did you stab with it? I feel... I don't remember if I turned it on, because I remember... I was leading the first one away, but I don't hiding. remember. We're not using Flicker. And then no. Okay. Cool. Um, can I do that and use my action? <laughs> Take a health potion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do that, cause, uh, unless Mir's doing something. It is up to you, I can... You or I can, can replenish those I'll health potions. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember which one I got. I think it was. I don't remember. Oh gosh. You think you found a basic one? I'm trying to remember if Mira had a chance to give you the supreme, or not supreme, uh, superior. I do not remember. Or not. Oh god, Mira's got that supreme. Supreme. No, superior. Sorry. I mean, I was going for like the, you know, you know the I got supreme fanboy meme joke. I got you. I got you. Completely went over my I head. think it's just a normal health potion. How much do I have to roll for that? Uh, it's 2d4 plus 4. Cool. So, one hit from these guys, if you're lucky. Ten! Nice. Oh yeah, I've still- I'm back in the double digits, which is pretty nice. Good work. I'm proud of you. Yay. I just want you to know that I'm proud of you for getting back up into the double digits. Thank you so much. It makes me feel so much better. It should. I would hope so. <laughs> and... Uh, question for Falk. Yes. Um, did you roll for these things entering the Spirit Guardians? Um, I did not. So what is that? Uh, also, I thought no, you spiritual weapon up. 
I had both. Spirit Guardians is concentration, okay. spiritual weapon is not. Gotcha. Okay, so what is it? Uh, they make a wisdom saving throw. Um, anytime it enters the area or the fir or it starts its turn there. Uh, that is a 17. <clears throat> Darn it, it makes it. Um, so it takes half damage, I believe. Okay. It takes half as much damage, so that's gonna be 3d8 radiant damage halved. I had one more question. How close is the Tessa to the enemies? It's on you. I'm gonna that was shitty damage. Uh, it takes four radiant damage. Okay. Tessa's and that's, that's after having. Bit. And that's my whole turn. You're gonna back up? Are yeah. you taking an action to disengage, or...? She has fancy footwork. So okay, no. so we can't uh, take an attack at opportunity? Yeah. Alright. That's it. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Next up is Tiska. Okay, I'm gonna take this opportunity to cast the fun new spell that I learned. Uh, uh, I'm going to cast Investiture of Wind. Ooh, what does that do? It is a sixth level spell. Uh, until the spell ends, war wind whirls around you and you gain the following benefits. Ranged we weapon attacks made against you have disadvantage on the attack roll. You gain a flying speed of 60 feet. And you can use your action to create a 15 foot cube of swirling wind centered on a point you can see within 60 feet of you. Each creature in that area must make a constitution saving throw, a creature takes. 2d10 bludgeoning damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. If a large or smaller creature fails the save, that creature is also pushed up to 10 feet away from the center. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that cube like right on top of the the thing on our side of the clearing. Okay. Um, you're all inside it. Um. Then. I put. It like a little bit further away so that it would if i can get it to hit the thing and not us that would be cool okay um it is closer to the edge of the map than you are so you're gonna have nice. to put this pretty much off the map okay i can do that okay sure yeah um you you select a point and it just makes this like big tornado essentially yeah all right, and you see wind begin to whip through this dense undergrowth. Um, do I need to make any saves or anything? Constitution saving throw. Okay. Is there any sort of size class restriction on it? Uh, if it's large or smaller, it and it <clears throat> fails, it gets pushed up to ten feet away. But other than that, there's no restriction on the damage. Okay, that's a twenty-one. Okay, well that's a that's a pass on the save, mm -hmm. but uh, still take half damage. Okay, roll damage. Ooh, um, I can't do math. That would be twelve. No, yeah, twelve. Okay, nope. So six damage. Alrighty, you you send the wind and it begins to tug and pull at this big cluster of vines, sending some of them sort of flapping in the wind. I bet it looks real goofy. Looks a little bit goofy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It looks like a wacky arm waving inflatable. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, yeah. A little bit goofy, you say. It doesn't seem to. Don't you dare. It doesn't seem to <laughs> notice that all too much. Um, if it's embarrassed, you can't tell. It might be. Uh, I don't know. And then, can I move a little bit away from it? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, All right. I'm gonna up a bit. It'll take an attack of opportunity on you then. Okay. But it only rolls a ten. Oh sweet! The the one of the few numbers that falls below my armor class. <laughs> <laughs> Has to roll real low for that to work. Yeah. And I'm I'm gonna say that I am flying now. 
Okay. In the air. Um. All right. It's a little bit difficult because this area is so dense in the undergrowth, but yeah. Um, if you try to move on foot, it's difficult to rain, so at least you're free of that. Cool beans. Is that your turn? Uh, I believe so. All right. Next up is Femora. Who's gonna? She, she, she's she's gonna punch it. Does she know what that? Can she tell us what this is? Um, she doesn't appear to be paying I mean, are you gonna ask her? Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, I'm gonna ask her what these are, if she knows. Uh, you know, it's some, some new shit. Okay. It's one of the things that gets mad if you're in the goddamn territory. Which is a lot of stuff in this fucking place. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I love her. Oh, I have water now. We're about to hear some choice water pouring noises. <laughs> oh, wait, is, is this turning into an wait, ASMR hold on. stream? <laughs> nice. ASMR stream! Nice! Hydrate or dehydrate. I'm gonna go hydrate. Hydrate or dehydrate. Nailed it. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, because I just woke up, and I forgot I didn't do this. Whoa. Take your meds, kids. Take your meds, kids. I say, oh, yeah. grabbing my medic <sighs> meds dispenser. Take your meds. I need that water to live and to continue speaking. Because <laughs> I talk a lot. All right, Don't so Femur rolls sure some attacks. She's going to get... She's going to hit with all three. Mm -hmm. Because she spends a key point to Flurry Buzz. Yeah, she does. Hell yeah, she does. Hell yeah, she does. You see her just turn around and just... It's its not like a, a punch. Instead, she just like grabs the tendrils and like twists and tries to pull them off. Uh, and that's going to be D6. Machete. Well, the halberd Machete. Machete. Well the halberd will probably function for this purpose. It doesn't roll too great on the damage. That's, um... 8, 7, 7, so 8, 14, um... 22. Oh, I have to use a calculator. I forgot how bad I am at math. I didn't. I know. You never fail mm -hmm. me. Okay, so she does 22 points of damage to it, yanking, tugging. Uh, you see her grab hold of a smaller tendril and pull it hard enough that it breaks, that it snaps off in her hand, and she wiggles, or she shakes it and throws it to the ground behind her. <clears throat> and then it is Zachra's turn. Next up will be Mir. Okay. okay. If she's doing it, it's okay to be fighting them. They aren't... I mean, They're if you want to, to not us. fight them, that's up to you. They're trying to kill us. Fight. I don't think that would go over too well for me. Just my suspicion. All right. So, you said one of they've been... What? One of them hit me. Oh, uh, yes. The one that's right behind you. Yes. I shall point... Make a dexterity saving throw. What are you casting? I'm casting a spell, and you're not allowed to know. I am, actually, because I'm the DM. <laughs> but... <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll make the save. It's for the drama, Falk. Oh, it only rolls a seven. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, that was lucky. Hey, hang on, I'm doing that. Okay, what did you cast? I'm about to tell you. Okay. It's for the drama. 76 force damage. Sorry? Pardon? Christ, that's a lot. What did what you cast? 
Oh. Hmm. Boy, that's the big stuff. Yeah, oh, it is. <laughs> if that's your Twitch reaction to game to being hit. Ah! Poof! <laughs> yeah, you turn around um and point a paw and your your shitty broken watch. Um and what does this look like? Um I have to know if it reduces it. What does it what does it look it, like? Pretty much blast. Um whatever it hits is reduced to a pile of gray dust. Oh, just like Misa. So it can be restored to life. How dare you? you? That's disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, you, you point a paw and it's like it's basically just like an invisible laser beam. You just point and that part of it just vaporizes and is immediately uh, blown away in the fierce wind that is whipping around this this yeah, vine thing. Cool. Anything else? That's all I can do. All right. Yeah, you've easily blown away almost half of it. You nice. just, it's just like a, like a, like a bite out of an apple. There's just a, a clean circular whoop, right through its entire form. Is it a creation of magical force? Um. No, it's a, it's a creation of magical farce. Is it a creature? <laughs> I'm trying to parse the spell. Uh, it is a creature. Okay. Why are you, why are you, why do you keep walking in through the door, meowing at me, and then walking back out? Jesus, Sacco, okay. come on. That's how cats be. <laughs> Ormus, why are you like this? <laughs> so I realized it actually would have Sorry, been a 16, I don't know why but it still succeeded, so, like it still failed, so. She's, she's being very needy today, and I apologize. <laughs> but she is every okay. cat. Is there anything else? Is there any way I can, like, hide? Any way you can what? Hide to be a little bit safer. You are um, surrounded by plants. You, uh, you could attempt, I suppose. I will attempt. Okay. I will attempt. I mean, well, no, you can't as a bonus action because you're not a rogue. I will attempt to duck behind someone who's taller than me. Okay, that'll, that'll do. Don't do it. Don't use me as a... You are the tallest one. I'm aware. Yes. Zachary hides behind Misa. <laughs> Unfortunately, you shouldn't have done that. You. Okay. Uh, that's your turn? Yep. Alright, Mir, you're up. Misa, you're on deck. How close is Hessa to me? Hessa, how far away did you move? Just, uh, just enough to get out of melee range. Mm, okay. That might be a distance. Fair. She wouldn't have tried to get too far away from Mir. If you Are want it out of melee range, distance. you're gonna have to move probably 15 feet. Yeah, you may have so to that move. No. Also, is, uh, Falk, is this entire map difficult terrain? Yes. Okay. Um, there's a lot of tangles of vines. Uh, to the south of that one creek bend, and there's a, a flat, sandier area to the north, which you can see is kind of drawn out. Uh, that area is a little clearer. Of plant life, anyway. Okay. Mm, trying to think out of this because I can't cure wounds, Hess, if she's out of touch range. Woo. Yep. I didn't realize she had moved that far. Um, and it takes an action to disengage, since I am not. Roby or swashbucklery of any kind. Okay. Is that correct? Yes. Is what I'm asking? Yes. Sorry. Um. Uh, I guess I will spend my the action disengaging and then move toward the party. Um. Try and get close to the rest of my group. 
Okay, you can move 15 feet because it's difficult terrain. What a day to not have freedom of movement prepared. Um, and then for the bonus section, the spiritual weapon will just whack the vine creature. Okay. Roll and attack. Nope, that's a natural one. <laughs> Does not hit. It, uh, it swings through, um, but just doesn't quite have the substance or the force to do any damage. That's the end of my turn. Okay, Misa, you're up. Uh, dash action towards Hassa. Okay, okay. Uh, if it is difficult to rain, so that doubles your movement speed, right? Yes. So you move your normal movement towards Hessa. You do not rage her yet. I know. That's, uh, yeah, sorry, Zachra. Um, does that Rude. provoke an attack of chain? Uh, it will. Okay. I'll take it. Which it will. I'll, I'll, ac I'll accept that as a payment for the dash action. <clears throat> It's cocked. God damn. And ooh. Twenty-eight. Oh yeah, that hits. Let's okay. see here. Uh that is ten bludgeoning. Did you get that? Sorry? Ten bludgeoning. Okay. Um, ouch. It brings, uh, one of its sort of bigger, uh, swinging, punching appendages down on your spine. And, um, crushes several of your ribs. You've got a lot of ribs, so it's I not too worrisome, ribs. but it definitely crushes oh. a good six or seven of them. All of you hear the most aggressive cursing in Monty <laughs> on the planet. Oh, it's weird None because ever heard her so aggressive before. Tessa is so proud. Technically, you don't have nerve endings, but it does hurt. No. Yeah, she's just an unending stream of curses. Aren't you vulnerable to bludgeoning damage still? Yes. No. That had to hurt. No. Oh, yeah. Almost 20 damage, no. dog. Oh god. Oh yeah, because that doubles if, if you yeah, it does. doubles in that. I have... Oh no. It's alright. It's not alright. Yeah, you didn't sound distressed enough to have realized that you took 20 damage, not 10. Oh no. I forgot that that was what vulnerability does. Yeah. Also, Be it's careful. like you think Misa cares right now. Yeah, of course. Her baby niece is getting <laughs> fucked up in the other corner. <laughs> All right, then you turn, Misa. It's just struggling. <laughs> uh, what's the distance between myself and, uh... I was counting that. Uh, has to Oops. Uh, Ooh, that's probably... One, two, three, four, five, six... Probably another 30 feet. If I use the... Dash action. I can. I still have my bonus action. Yes. No. Uh. Yes. Cool. I cast sanctuary on Tessa. Okay. You need it. <laughs> no. But we're making character decisions, not player decisions, and I love that oh, a lot. No. <laughs> Do any of us see that she's becoming more powdery? <laughs> I mean, you saw that thing straight up just annihilate like a bunch of ribs just immediately oh, powder them no. like like you know you know how pine trees no no you know how pine trees just become alpha. clouds of pollen alpha, that no. was her ribs alpha, oh, no. Oh, no. that was her ribs just then yep what happens if you go then you die not oh god Lots of you dust. Zero, you're just gonna be dust yep oh, no. now misa can come you back if she death. dies but she has to start so weird. Yeah, uh -huh. you'd have to start your reconstruction process over again. It's like oh. you think she cares. Uh, like yo. you think she cares. Oh, no. Is that your turn? 
now she knows she's gonna come back? No, no fucks. Alright. Uh, with that, it is over to... Hmm. You see, at the tree line, part of the forest moves in a way that you do not believe is natural. Wonderful. One of the Boy. trees near Mir and Hesse, uh, that little one that is directly to the... Oh boy, this is difficult. Um...